Hi, and welcome to Cord Cutters LI. Well, did you pick up the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max? If you did, or if you've seen any of the videos about it, you're probably familiar with the fact that this version comes with four hard-coded application buttons for Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu. Well, if you had all those apps, chances are you're not saving a heck of a lot of money on your cable bill, are you? What I'll show you in today's video is how you can change what each of these buttons do, so you can have it open any app on your Fire Stick. I'll show you how to do it step by step, and it won't take much time at all. Are you ready to remap the buttons on your new 4K Max Fire Stick remote? Let's go! If you're in the market for a VPN service to help you stay connected and protected while streaming, have a click on one of the links in the description below. Doing so not only gets you a great discount on your next VPN subscription, it also helps to support the Cord Cutters Li channel. All right, so before we get started, there are a couple of prerequisites and a couple of limitations to what these button remapper apps can do. The first prerequisite is that all four of the apps, Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu, all would have had to have been installed on any of your Fire TV devices from the Amazon App Store at some point in the past. The second prerequisite, and this is kind of weird, those apps must be uninstalled before you can install the app to remap those buttons. It sounds a little complicated, but believe me, it's easy and we'll get to it in a little bit. And there is one major limitation to this, and it's not a big deal, I don't think. The Prime Video button cannot be remapped because in order to be able to remap the button, the app can't be on the device. And since you can't uninstall the Prime Video app from the Amazon Fire Stick, we're not gonna be able to remap that button. But the other buttons, the Netflix, the Disney Plus, and the Hulu buttons can all be remapped to any application that's on your Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and fire up the Fire Stick 4K Max and show you how it works. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download and install the Downloader app so we can install the applications that will be used to remap our buttons. So we go to home and you move over to find, click search and just start typing downloader and it will be, come up pretty quickly. You could also use the voice button for this, but I'm gonna do it the long way. Downloader, click on it and install. We're not gonna open the downloader app quite yet because first we have to allow downloader to install the other apps that we need. So hit the home button, go all the way over to the gear, and then move down to My Fire TV. Go to Developer Options. We will select ADB Debugging and also Install Unknown Apps. We're going to change this from Off to On, and then we can hit the home button. For this little demonstration, I'm going to remap the Netflix button to Peacock TV. I'm going to remap the Disney Plus button to Distro TV. And I'm going to map the Hulu button to IMDb. These are three really good free streaming apps that you can replace these three for pay apps on the buttons that come with your Fire Stick remote. So let's go ahead into the downloader app. Click allow and OK. We're going to type in the address for the Cord Cutters Li downloads page or the short code 61187 and click go. It's gonna redirect you to that URL. You could type that out if you wanted to, but this is a little quicker. So now we'll move down to Netflix Remapper and click download. It's gonna automatically ask us to install it. We say yes. Now, normally, I would click Done here and then delete the APK, but in this case, and I'll explain to you in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and open the Remapper for Netflix button application. And we'll scroll down to find Peacock TV. As you can see, you can pick any app that's installed on the Fire Stick. So let's click Peacock TV. We click exit. It gives you a little bit of information here. We're going to go over some of these things later on the video, so you're not going to have to read that now. Click exit. So now here's the point where you would go ahead and delete the APK file. Click delete twice because we no longer need that. Now let's move down to the Disney Plus remapper and install that. Same thing. Go to install. 
Same thing, go to open. And now we're gonna move down and find the Distro TV app and choose that. Click delete and delete again. And now lastly, let's go down and download and install the Hulu Remapper application. Go down, install, click open. And here we're gonna move down to IMDB. IMDB TV in this case, and click exit. Delete and delete again. And that's it, so now let's hit home. So what we just did is we remapped the button for Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Netflix button. And as you can see, it opens up Peacock TV instead. I'm gonna hit the Disney Plus button. And as you can see, it opens up the Distro TV app instead. I'm going to hit the Hulu button, and as you can see, it opens up the IMDb TV app instead. So you might ask yourself, well, what if I want to change it, right? You know, how do you do that? Because if you hit the Netflix button, it's always going to open up Peacock, and Disney Plus is always going to open up Distro, and so on. So to change what you want to have the button do is pretty easy. You just go over to the gear. move down to applications and go into manage installed applications. Let's say we wanted to change the Hulu button to no longer open up IMDB, but let's say we'll open up the Silk Browser instead, which is a built-in app. So let's go down to the Hulu remapper button. What you need to do here is first force stop it and then clear the data because right now this is saved to open up IMDB. We're going to change that. So click clear data and clear data again. Click the home button. So now when you click on Hulu, it's going to be as if you never pressed the button before and mapped it to IMDB. So let's click Hulu. So now it's going to ask you what app you want to open instead. So we move down. Let's find the Silk Browser and click it and exit. So it brings us back home. Now when I hit the Hulu button, it opens up the Silk Browser. All the other buttons still work. So if we hit Netflix, it goes to Peacock. And if we hit Disney Plus, it goes to Distro TV. Similar to the other thing where we cleared the data, we're gonna go down to the gear Move over to Applications, down to Managed Installed Applications, and we are going to find the Remapper for Netflix button. And we're going to force stop it, and we're going to actually uninstall it and confirm. We'll hit the Home button, and now when you click the Netflix button, it does what it did out of the box. It brings you to Netflix. It's not yet installed on here, because we covered that earlier, but it's ready to install. And from that point on, when you click the Netflix button, it'll open up Netflix. I hope this video was helpful. If you give it a try, go ahead and please put some comments down below and let me know what you remapped your buttons to. If you enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos when they come out with Cord Cutters Our Life, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.